giving my sister a makeover. We are a lot alike, but we look quite a bit different. She's blonde and blue eyed, and she struggles with dark circles like I do. Her eyes are a lot smaller than mine, however, so trying to get her eyes to open up was a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> and boy, were her dark circles persistent. So here I was taking my Stila Correct and Conceal palette and trying to use the peach concealer initially with a sponge and then I had to break down and use the orange because her dark circles were gnarly today. So we worked on those for a little while and then we did some color correction to her nose and other parts of her face, which is coming up here in just a second. I used the green concealer and spread it around with this Pharmacy Beauty, uh, beauty Sponge. Uh, my sister is making a little statement here with her Foxy cup. Um, if you know her, you'll know why she's doing it. It's absolutely deliberate. Coming in here with the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 so Brightening Concealer. So this Nothing. is the shade Universal Brightening. Why are you laughing? What is so funny? <laughs> I just thought of something funny. Oh, okay. All right, so I added a little bit of uh, powder to the lids and then I went in with this beauty sponge to try to move that orange concealer around a little bit before we applied foundation. Just sort of gently moving it, moving it. And I was making a little bit of headway until we started to apply eyeshadow and then uh, you'll see what happens. It, it's not good news, but, but we worked with it. Alrighty, so I picked up the Physician's Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palette that I just purchased this week. I did a video on my own eyes with it yesterday, and I'm applying the base here. Now, my sister's eyes, as I mentioned earlier, are she doesn't have a lot of real estate, so... I was desperately trying to get her eyes to open a little. Now, if I were a trained uh, makeup artist, I might have had a little better luck. I had to play with this a lot. The end result was still really, I thought it was great, but playing with it initially was, it was daunting. <laughs> my poor sister <laughs> being my guinea pig. So we played with that palette for quite a while and here I am. I'm just trying to give her some uh, lift, but also a little bit of, you know, a little bit of drama, but mostly lift. She was being a really good sport about this. I'm gonna fix whatever, if it looks weird, I'm gonna fix it. Desperately trying to give you some height. Stay with me, it gets better, I promise. My sister has very, very blonde, almost very difficult to see eyebrows, and she didn't really have an eyebrow pencil. So I used the Bite Size Quad from e.l.f. Love You Latte and just took a little bit of that uh, eyeshadow, the taupe color, to fill in her brows. List all the products in the description box. Here I'm applying NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Santa Fe. Not a great color match for her because this is my foundation, so she's on the business end of that this time. 
<laughs> but uh, we uh, went and fixed that with some bronzer and some blush. So it was redeemable. And here I am actually trying to set it with a beauty sponge as well as this BS Mall foundation brush. I will list all the brushes in the description box as well. Nobody escapes contouring, not in my videos. So I am using this NYX Wonder Stick Dual End Face Shaper in the shade Universal Light. And I was trying to contour her face not like I would contour my face, obviously. So just, um, she has a completely different nose than I do and her cheeks are completely different, but I had somewhat of a concept. So we did our best. I thought it looked okay. Yep, this looks like a lot of makeup, because it is. In fact, I don't think my sister has worn this much makeup uh, at one time collectively her entire life. <laughs> but it sure was fun. It was really, really fun to do this. I'm glad you let me. I turned my back for one second and this is what happened. My sister picked up this flawless brightening concealer and practically stuck it in her nose. Unbeknownst to her, this was gonna go right on her face that I used to brighten this center and along with a little bit of that contouring I was doing. So much fallout from the eyeshadow earlier that I had to remove all of the concealer from under her eyes, which is why the dark circles have mysteriously returned. So we cleaned all that up and then I went back in and redid the correction and the concealer and fixed it. are starting to brighten up over here. I'm applying the Revlon InstaFix. It's a makeup stick and I was just uh, dipping a brush into the product and then uh, using it to further sort of get rid of some of those shadows around her middle of her face and um, up around her eyes. And this is the shade Vanilla. It's a terrible shade for me, but oh my gosh, it was a really good color match for her. So this worked out really well. With my never say die, attitude about this eyeshadow and trying to give her lift plus brighten. I picked up my IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette eyeshadow again and tried to add some of the Hello Light, the translucent light powder, hoping it would help a little bit. So I tapped it around there and just, you know, added some up around her eyebrow and also in her inner corner, hoping that that would help a little bit. Um, it kind of did, not really. I'm pressing in some of the e.l.f. pressed high definition powder here, trying to set her makeup a little bit. Then I picked up the Physician's Formula Butter Dream Team Palette and used the Butter Believe It face powder because it was much creamier and more forgiving and less texturized. 
using the same palette i used the saucy mauve or mauve butter blush to give her some color and then i went in with this lovely matte butter bronzer that is just fabulous just a heads up um we just got back from my brother-in-law's 50th birthday party and uh, there's a little noise going on dogs barking people talking so sorry about that um all right hoping to open my sister's eye i was taking this all may 24 hour eyeliner pencil in the shade brown and then i softened the line using a smudging tool if you can create um, a broader um, line under your lower lid it will tend to make your eye look more open so we were still trying to do that at this point <laughs> but then i pulled out the physician's formula uh, butter eyeshadow palette again the same one i've been using this time i'm using a firm but very thin liner brush tool and i'm taking the darkest shade and i'm tight lining around her eyelashes and also sort of creating um, a little bit of depth around the corner of her eye i felt like i was starting to make some headway here I believe it was improved, but um, I think my sister might have to let me practice on her quite a few more times, and um, I'm determined to master this. Long story with the lipstick, we were having a tough time getting a good shade, so I will put those products in the description box. She is putting on her own mascara here, and here she is. After we finished, I was actually just touching up her powder a little bit more. Oh, how it's so cute. Oh, yeah. So cute. That's the dick. Glamour shot. So this is what she looked like before. And this was the results after. She said I get to do this again, so it's going to get better and better. All right. Party time. Are you video? Oh, yeah. We were at my brother-in-law's 50th birthday party tonight, so, so much fun. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.